LSW. We got Josue driving his LS240 hatch. I think this is like his third time drifting. First time in a while. We uh, peer pressured him into finally bringing his car out. Very excited for him to be driving. Geraldo is driving his 1JS14, so awesome to have the homies out here. And we have the K-Swap Sephiro out for its third drift day. Very excited to drive this thing again. We fixed a handful of things with it since the last event. We've only done one event with it dry. We had intake air temps getting a little hot when the car was sitting. We added some fans. We didn't have any variable cam timing above like 4,500 RPM. We fixed that. Should be a lot peakier or, or make a lot more power up top. Yeah, so boost is turned down a little bit, but uh, overall, hopefully it should be a good bit peppier. So I'm really excited to drive this thing again. I've been itching to drive it as much as I can since we got it done and put it through its paces. So we're all out there ripping. This car sounds sweet. You probably can't see him from here. Hit it, woo! So yeah, the only thing I'm worried about is we did have to put a good bit of camber in to have the big lipped wheels. So we're probably gonna eat through tires pretty quick, but it is what it is. So anyway, I'm gonna quit jibber jabbering. We're gonna go drive this thing.
giveaways. I love it. Three runs back to back, we just barely crested 200. And that's a tune I did myself too. Not all of it, but some of it. Those Juanito. So exciting. That was, nice. that was a clean lap. That was good. He figured out so much from first lap to then. Yeah. Need to do hot, hot boy sedan tandems with this guy. This car is beautiful. Something happened there. I wish I recorded the last run. Work emotions, clean pit. That car is beautiful. Mint interior. Oh, look at that thing. Man, that is a nice car. Oh no, don't leave. Don't leave. Why are you leaving? All right, going out again. Like I said, car feels night and day. So luckily, Josue had some fuel, some pump gas. Uh, I was gonna try to set up my E85 stuff. I have the sensor and everything, but I don't wanna risk trying to get like a table and tune set up for E like while we're here. I'm just gonna go fill up his can of pump.
but we did a lot of laps, honestly. For, for the camera we have and how freaking hot it is, and now we're keeping the tires spinning longer. I lost the gauge. All right, already went through a set of tires. Uh, the camera wear is really not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The tires seem to last about the same amount of time. It's hard to tell, but I think I got around seven, eight laps at the last event with a much shorter layout and I wasn't in the high RPMs as much. I didn't have the wheel speed up the whole lap like I have been, but I am cooling the tires down now. So it's not a direct comparison, but I mean, seven laps or so out of a set with the camber, I'm not too mad about it. Again, I want to fix the camber, but at least it's not killing our tire life right now. Also planning on changing the trans setup, it'll lower our wheel speed a little bit. That's what's killing us is the more wheel speed you have compared to your ground speed, the more smoke you make and the faster you kill tires. You're not making smoke, you're saving a lot of money. We're making smoke, we're not saving money. My wheel speed's like 85 miles an hour and we're going like 40. So we're gonna try to drop that down to like 75 and should should help us out on tire life. So anyway, I'm gonna quit jibber jabbering and uh, I'm gonna go drive some more. I'm super stoked. I can't get over how much better this thing is now. I guess, I think what it really is, is like that four to 5,000 RPM window where we have the cam timing now. The turbo seems to light like a thousand RPM earlier. Like it should, it's not a very big turbo. So anyway, let's go drive some more.
not have this car set up, gripped up. Especially not uh, tire pressure wise. We're running a lot, like 30. When the drift car can do street car things. Oh, I got a little bobble in the tune I need to fix. I think it's from the fueling change. Yeah, it just goes a little lean there. But anyway, taking the old girl up to the gas station real quick to uh, get some fuel. I'm gonna get five and then I gotta get most of the way back to this five because he's probably gonna need it to get home. Oh, there's that the end of the life on um, this set of tires I'm really really pushing them I mean we definitely got camber wear yeah the inside these got like one maybe two laps left oh that is rough though <laughs> the outside of the tire is like brand new I gotta sort that out man I mean that's the plan wider finish anyway I digress I wasn't what I came here to say was dude this thing drives so good I am so happy like just rolling back into the throttle and just whoop comes back up whereas before i'd have to freaking clutch kick it two or three times so fueling's good it's a little on the rich side but right at red line it's like bounces between 10 5 and 11 so it's safe um we still are for some reason the car's only revving to 7500 it's like hitting a rev limiter at 7500 and this is happening on the street i didn't have time to call Haltech tech tech support i'm sure it's some silly setting so i'll get that sorted out i'll, I'll call them up you know tomorrow and try to figure that out but we're only revving it to 7500 right now and she's still ripping dude anyway we're gonna drive some more one way or another all right tires are almost done but we gotta take Ronaldo for a ride I'm trying to work on starting in 
second because the 256 will be kind of like second and first. So there's probably a handful of K-Series cars in the country that are drift cars. And this is another K-Series drift car at the same track. This was not planned. So this thing's an old road race car and he's got an NA K-Series in it. Check this out. I haven't even seen it yet. With ITBs, I was just talking about this. Man, there's miles of room with no turbo and no intake stuff. Did you get the harness done? That's a K2. Oh man, that is a yeah, freaking I'm, beautiful I'm harness. For a living. If I can buy it and not spend the time to build it. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Man, this thing is so sweet yeah, though. Dude, he's running a case uh, like KA Trans. Yeah. So you are still like. So it's it, still a two piece drive shaft. Right, right. So you didn't move anything back. I didn't move anything back. It still has an Evo in it. Oh, nice. So I don't get any of that drive line. Like right. Yes, I have a lot of that. So. No, that's sick, man. This is. 
K, K swapped the world. And what a, you know, 2K series drift cars yeah. at the track, like yeah. so hilarious. We heard it drifting and we're like, man, it sounds like something's popping. Is that thing, is it a K series? With ITVs. So anyway, I had to show you. All right, he made it back home, got the Sephiro unloaded, got it washed up, importantly. This thing was pretty filthy, but yeah. Super, super stoked on how this event went. It was such a blast. The car ran great. It was so fun having Geraldo and Josue there driving. You know, if you're not familiar with them, they are my good friends. They travel up to Clutch Kickers with me to crew for me, and we kind of all started drifting together 10 years ago. So for us to all be at the track together here now, 10 years later, was it was a great time. Could not have gone better. Could not have gone better. So I think I am gonna change the rear wheel setup up a little bit. I might rebuild the wheels I have to be a little smaller because the wide body stuff I want to get isn't as wide as I thought it was, so we still wouldn't be able to pull all the camber out, and I, I definitely want to get the camber out of this thing. It's making enough power to use the grip. I want to start uh, putting a little bit of grip to it, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I had a blast. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the K-Series straight pipe turbo drifting sounds and sights and so on and so forth, and uh, yeah, hope to see you guys next time, but for now that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.